you remove the little hub screws um, off of both sides. Really strong magnets in here and stuff, so there is a couple ways of uh, doing it. Uh, one way is raising it up off the ground a little bit, letting it drop. It may break one of the uh, caps loose. Usually want to do it on the side where this is up so you don't accidentally smash it. And then some come out a little easier than others, but pretty much that's the removal of that. And to get the other cap off, just get down a little bit. So it releases. And you feed the cord through. At this point, you could probably do the repair on the uh, uh, your repair on uh, uh, replacing the uh, uh, temperature sensor, putting it back together. Um, then just feed the. Uh, cap back through and then in place and this is where you want to be careful because these are really strong magnets with the wheel just want <laughs> to in place it will pull it and stuff so just make sure your fingers are cleared and then uh, Pop this back into place. Now I have a stand, most people are not gonna have a stand. At this point, you can then go back to putting the screws in. I would suggest using uh, some uh, thread locker, some Loctite on the screws. Just a little dab. Here you got your holes lined up. You start putting the screws in. Um, the way I like to do it is basically putting, just like uh, you're changing a spare tire or something on a car, put a screw here on opposite ends and kind of tightening it down so it, the uh, cap goes down straight. And as you do that, you know, throughout, then obviously flip, the, uh, flip it over and do the same process on this side and that's pretty much the way you take it apart and put it back together <laughs>